This pathology slide is for adenocarcinoma. It was taken from a patient with weight loss and hemoptysis. In this discussion, we want to answer some questions. How do we know that the biopsy is for lung tissue? How do we know it is cancer, not inflammation, or other types of pathology? How do we know it is adenocarcinoma, not other types of lung cancer? Also, we see some additional features of this tumor. Histology examination is, usually, done after gross examination. Surgeons, or interventional radiologists, excise the tissue, then, pathologists look at it, and take represented sample from expected site of lesion. After that, histology slides are prepared. Thus, in the first place, when examining histology slides, we know what is the source of the sample by the report of gross examination. This is particularly important because sometimes we get tissue that are completely different from the original normal tissue, for example, advanced anaplastic cancer. This tissue seemed to have glandular structure. We see glands. But from the gross pathology report, it is mentioned that it was taken from lung. Glands are normally not found in lung tissue. So, the conclusion is made that it is an adenocarcinoma. To know what we mean by glands, look at this histology. Glands have cells adjacent to each other and from a lumen in the inside. Look how we see cells attaching each other making an internal lumen. Thus, this lung sample has glandular structure. Tumors with glandular structure is called adenoma, if benign, or adenocarcinoma, if malignant. This adenocarcinoma may be not identified very easily to be lung tissue. This is due to the invasive property and the advanced stage of the cancer. Look at the normal lung histology. We have terminal bronchioles, respiratory bronchioles, alveolar ducts, and alveolar sacs. We have air spaces that look empty. Air spaces are separated by alveolar septae. This lung adenocarcinoma may not look like lung tissue. Maybe this one is easier to identify as lung adenocarcinoma. We see airways. Inside the glands we see mucin. However, few years later, this tumor has progressed to this, in which we do not see air spaces, again, due to invasion by tumor cells. The small box in this histology slide shows special stain done for this tumor. It is called thyroid transcription factor 1, or TTF1, which is seen in the majority of pulmonary adenocarcinomas. Compare lung adenocarcinoma to some other types of lung cancer. Look how it is different from this sample, which is for squamous cell carcinoma. And this one, which is for small cell carcinoma. These tumors have no glandular structure like adenocarcinoma. Finally, realize one important feature of cancer tissue. They are not well organized like the normal tissue. There is disorganization of tissue. Also, cancer is known for hyperchromatic nuclei, more blue or purple. These nuclei are like this because they are metabolically active in dividing and in making proteins required by the cancer. Before we finish, this is another slide that you might find for lung adenocarcinoma. Look here at the invasive property of the irregular glands and compare it to the normal-looking lung tissue.